Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Today we have the All Powers S2000 Pro. This thing comes in the slickest box I think I've ever um, received. You got this nice, slick, glossy box. It's, it has a picture of the All Powers in the front. All right, guys, let's crack it open. First thing we have right on top is our warranty card. From all powers it says charge me now we are gonna charge it got this nice thick padding all around it real thick foam you see how thick this thing is almost two inches across so it should be real nice and safe once you get inside it comes with a little case We'll get that open. It's a little cover for the uh, portable inverter. Comes with a little case. Inside the case, you have your AC charge cable. Well, this is your XT60 for your uh, car charger, 12 volt. AC charger. And XT60 to MC4 solar and it all comes in this nice little case so you can carry it around real nice and handy okay guys here we have it all powers s2000 pro the difference between the regular version and the pro is this comes with a 30 amp rv plug ready for your rvs so if you have a travel trailer a uh, 30 amp rv you just plug into that you could run your AC, your refrigerator, microwave, anything you have, you can run it right from here, direct connect. This is for your AC, XT60. You have a power, your AC, and your DC right here. Come over here, you have your 12 volt cigarette lighter, so you can pull a 12 volt from here right here. You can pull 12 volt from here. Type C, Type C. You have one, two, three, four USB, two type C USB, and your 12 volt. All this is connected right here to your DC switch. All right, on the top, one, two, three, four. All right, you have 420 volt output right on the top. I love that they're right on the top, right up front. Nothing on the top. Fan. That's where you charge it. All right, you plug it right here. Everything is inside, no brick. You just plug it right here. You just get your AC connector and just plug it right in the back. Once it's plugged in, it should turn the unit on. On the AC charging, it will pull 1,500 watts. That's the max. On solar, 650 watts. So you should be able to get this charged up really quick. I am gonna try this on the RV. We're going to do an unboxing video and then I'm going to put it on the RV so I can see if it will run. Uh, I think I have a 13 and a half, 13,500 BTUs AC. We'll see if we can run that, the refrigerator and microwave. Not all at the same time because it only pulls 2,400 watts. Okay, let's get this on the table so we can take a closer look at it. Okay, we have everything plugged in. It's almost charged. There you go. It just turned 100% right now. I did a, a few little tests on it. it Charge it right back up to 100%. I have it plugged in in the back. So right now it's in UPS mode. I'm going to turn on this light so I can show you all real quick. Okay. So here you go. This light is on. It's plugged in right here to one of the 120 volt plugs. So it's plugged into AC. I'm going to disconnect the AC and watch the light. So I'm going to disconnect this and see what happens. Switch to the battery, the light did not even flicker, okay? So it's on running on battery right now. So you'll have it plugged in, it'll run off the AC power, UPS mode. Once you unplug it or you lose power, your load will automatically comes on. As you can see, this thing puts out a pure sine wave. I have it hooked up to the oscilloscope right here, and it's putting out a pure sine wave. So here's what I have. In the 30 amp plug, I have a 30 amp plug going right here to the heater. All right. Over here, I have 2000 watts of lights. So we're going to try to pull 
2,400 watts from this thing. And at the same time, we're going to check to see if this power right here, the 12 volt, let's just turn it on. And before I do that, let me show you guys the app. It's, this is one of the best app. I don't know if you guys can see it real good, but here you go. It shows 100%. It shows the time, days. Okay, the best feature right here. This is what I like. So let's say you have this in your house and or in your RV and it's connected to your RV down in the basement somewhere. You could actually control. I'm going to turn on the DC. Watch this. DC just came on. It is a regulated output. 13.1 volts from the 12 volt socket but you can control it from your phone it turns off this light is plugged in to the ac check this out you just hit right here turn the, the light turn it off light goes off see it's pulling zero oscilloscope shut off the fan shut off i want to turn the ac on so you want to turn the power on but you don't want to get up and turn it on manually. You just get your app. Click right here. Relay clicks in. All your light comes back on. From the app, you can control your DC, USB plugs, everything right here. So that's the app for the uh, S2000 Pro. All right. So you could download that. It's right in the book. They have the QR code. Another thing I wanted to show you guys real quick on the solar. Okay, right here. It says, so solar, 650 watts, not that much, but you can go to 18 volts to 70 volts, 18 amps max. That's pretty good. So you can use a wide variety of solar panels on AC, 1,500 watts charge. All right, let's do some tests. Let's see if we can pull 2,400 watts from this thing and see how long we can pull it for, right? Okay, so I have this one on. We're pulling right about 18 right now. I'm going to turn on the heater all the way on max, all the way up. This is on battery. It's not plugged into anything. You see the AC plug is right there unplugged. So we're pulling 1,176 watts. Okay, now I'm going to turn this thing on. That should power on my big lights. Okay, there they go. 1,600. 1,800, 2,000, 2,400, 2,500. There you go. So it does go past its 2,000. It does run it. We're just going to turn everything off. Turn these off. Hit that AC button. Let's see if it restarts itself. Hold it down. There you go. It restarts. Easy. Power back on. So it will pull almost 2,500 watts. All right? That's real good. Hit that. It'll turn on your DC. The one thing I really want to test is the AC on the RV. So I will be connecting this right here. To see if it will run i mean if we can pull 2500 watts just want to park on the side of the road pull that out at night okay guys so you're all done having your fun camping rving or backup power for the house now we have this case so you can put your uh, portable power station in it all powers on the front let's see how this works probably works easier if you have two people but okay i see there's a zipper on the side all right, let's see how we can do this. Easiest way we can do this. All right, there you go. Everything's up. Zip up the front. Flip that over. Got some Velcro on the side.
There you go. Velcro on the front. All right. Look at that. Perfect. Fits just perfect. So you have a full case and a case for your wires. Nice. Okay guys, we just unboxed the All Power S2000 Pro. I absolutely enjoy testing this thing. It pull it puts out as much power, 2500 plus watts, and I love that it has a 30 amp plug and all the extra plugs in the top, DC section right here, USB and a 12 volt power out 12 volt output with the XC60 plug. All right? And your UPS feature, very nice. So you plug it in when the power goes off, it keeps your power going. All right, guys, if you like this, remember, I have the link down in the description. Just go in the description, click that button, the link for Amazon, and you should be able to get you one of these. It is on sale right now, so go ahead and get you one. Guys, thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching this review of the All Power S2000 Pro. Remember, the Pro is the one with the 30 amp plug. Guys, thanks for watching my videos. Have a nice day. Bye.